Hey guys, welcome to the uh, Kyrgyzstan update. I thought I'd start the video with a, a couple of thank yous and a, a couple of sorries. I'll start with sorry first, but uh, basically it's been a while since I let the Kazakhstan update out and uh, before I've done this one, mainly because I lost a lot of footage from, the, from my time in Kyrgyzstan just because storage of footage while on the road, some bits go missing and it just happened to be Kyrgyzstan. Um, yeah, so I've been trying to get some footage back from friends and so on. It's been unsuccessful, so sorry about that. Uh, so yeah, in the video it'll be maybe a couple of jumps without any footage in between, but I'm doing the best I can. Uh, also, thank you to Ben and Michael, my first uh, PayPal donate donations, which is great because they've actually taken the time to look at the website, find out about the trip. I never advertised the button, and they, um, yeah, they, they donated some money, which is brilliant, guys. Uh, I've spent the money already, but it's money well spent. I'll let you guys know in an email, maybe a postcard and a few stickers. But yeah, anyway, guys, cheers for that. And uh, here I am in Kyrgyzstan. See you later. So yeah, today I'm going with a friend, Sergey, who helped me out with my GPS and uh, getting things shipped over from England um, to his project. He works on a farm with um, homeless people, mainly drug, uh, drug addicts, uh, people with drink problems, and so on, and homeless. And yeah, basically run this project uh, to give them a job um, and sort their life out really. So yeah, we're just at the chicken feed place because they're running their own chicken business to help fund the project. So yeah. Upon arrival to the uh, to the place, the farm, I was uh, greeted by some of the students, and we just sat down for some food, and um, had some more information passed over to me about what they do here. So this is a rehab program, and we had a drug addict. Uh, it was two years ago, so he was here. He went through rehab. He was healed of drug addiction, and then one night he drew this amazing drawings. Is it both of them? Yeah, both of them. It's incredible, isn't it? Yeah. It seemed clear to me that good things were happening here. And soon after the food, there's this lady and her father. He's an alcohol addict. And um, they've come to see if they want to be part of the program. As it's a voluntary program, they have to volunteer to go. They're not forced by the government or anything like that. It's a charity. While that was going on, Sergey showed me around the place with one of the relatives, um, showed me where they live. Like, for example, there's the gym, this is their living quarters. The sauna. You actually got a sauna in it. Like yeah. It was a sorry very basic, but it, it did the job. Everything was clean and uh -huh. people were happy there. And this was a, a project that's run off just donations more, more like, students, from anyone, but place. mainly other the other people in Kyrgyzstan, maybe mainly Bishkek. And it was very impressive what they've actually nice. been able to make. Uh, although they are still struggling uh -huh. and they are trying to be self-sufficient, which I'll show you now. <laughs> You're going to be famous. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah. You can tell it works. <laughs> and what, what are you going to grow in here? Spinach, uh, spinach. Uh -huh. salad. spinach uh, salad, radish, yeah, all this, you know, greens that is that to just self be self-sufficient or are you going to sell it or yeah this is the main project is just to be self-sustainable yeah, yeah yes part of that is going to be used by our needs at the mm -hmm. kitchen but the most the majority is planning to be sold so we can be self-sustainable so the money can go uh, so we can buy more food yeah we can pay more taxes so basically the ultimate goal is to help more homeless men from the streets so yeah this is the the purpose of this project all right because you're not you're not uh, breaking even at the moment are you we're not breaking even at all we are actually every month we have 1500 shirt for the budget the budget is a three thousand mm -hmm. dollars a month we need and we have only 1500 now at the moment so basically our goal is to generate another 1500 so we can cover all our needs yeah. And uh, also the plan is to expand so we can take more students. So yeah. we call them students. So basically those are the guys that come from the streets 
homeless, drug addicts, alcoholics, yeah. all kind of you know social deviation, and this is the, our goal to help them. And yeah. we are doing this at the work therapy, and, and at the same time, it's the purpose is just to be self-sustainable. Yeah, definitely sounds good. <laughs> Let's get out of here. Cause I was very impressed with the project. Though. Like from a poor country and have they been being spying, able to man? do what yeah. they have done and like save oh, many people. There's some people that are working there, but they'd already been so cute. cured and had a yeah, job elsewhere. <laughs> and yeah, they had some pretty cool puppies there as well. While in Bishkek, I was booked into a small hotel, met some other bikers. And um, while I was there, I did some small maintenance on the bike. Uh, if you know the bike, I was maintaining the uh, Kush Drive rubbers, just packing them out again. And yeah, apart from that, it was just messing around in the city for a bit. Went for a walk around the city and um, found myself a market and decided to walk through it. I didn't really need anything, but um, that's what tourists do in cities. So I had a walk around. It was just full of Chinese cheap stuff. And yeah, and I was just... Spent most of my time holding all my phone and stuff in my pocket and just being careful I won't get pickpocketed. But uh, yeah, so I randomly found myself an Arsenal shop in the middle of the city. And then it was time to get a haircut. I mean, uh, Derek's done this fish kit, just asked for a haircut. And, uh, yeah, I mean, uh, so yeah, this is what I came out with. Not bad, considering I don't speak a word of their language and they don't speak a word of my language. And it's only one pound eighty, something like that. Okay guys, gonna pull the plug there. Um, next time, join me as I go down to Lake Isikul and Lake Sonkul with uh, fellow travellers here. Okay, see you next time. <laughs>